I wouldn't say that God can't use anybody unless they're perfect. Um, therefore, I mean, God used Cyrus. God used other people in the past. And he uses us if we're willing. You know, so it's not like, oh, I have to be 100 percent in in perfect, perfect, because he sees me that way anyway. So does my heart have to be right for him to use me? No, but if my heart is mixed in motive or anything else, then I'm not going to be credited with what I'm doing in a sense, because it will be wood, hay and straw. But the gold, silver and precious stones that I do seems to indicate there's a mixture that we do things and even do the things that God desires us to do. But we may not always do it with the right heart or motive, but we still do it. Um, but obviously God wants us to be transformed and he wants us to be more and more like him and to be see the kingdom established in our lives in that if we know who we are and we know our true identity as sons of God, then we will begin to manifest the reality of that true identity. And that true identity can only be found in relationship. So ultimately, we're never going to be able to outwork who we really are unless we really know him. And that is his goal, that we would be in intimate relationship with him and he would reveal himself to us and he would reveal ourselves to us. If you like, he would show us the true reality of who we are. And then we can begin to function out of that reality. Um, but God, I think, uses imperfect vessels. Otherwise, we'd all be striving for perfection before anyone could do anything for God. And I don't think God looks at it that way. And, you know, you can do things, you can do the wrong things with the right heart. And he, he looks at that because we're not always the wisest in what we do or how we do it. But it doesn't mean that, that he won't use it and of course he brings good out of everything we do so he looks to try and um use what we do even even the foolish things and bring and redeem them to bring something good at all because he's so good you know he's merciful you know he's gracious and i think that sort of he's faithful and when we're faithless he's faithful when we come to look at how god does things and because if if god has chosen to do things through us and we're not good enough then he's never going to do anything you know and i think fortunately he's not looking for um us to get everything 100 percent perfectly right because he's more interested in us doing things out of his heart rather than in a legalistic way so i don't believe god gives us a list of instructions and we have to get them all right in order perfectly i think god reveals his heart to us and he wants us to express his heart through who he's made us to be you know therefore our identity will release his heart i think it's more like that god makes adjustments for the things we do to ensure that eventually his kingdom will be manifested so there's almost like little adjustments i don't know if you ever saw the the movie the adjustment bureau <laughs> in that these people oh, came yeah. in yeah. things to make sure everything was all on track you know and i think god does make adjustments to enable things to take place so yes he might use somebody else should i fail to respond or listen or be available um but if i do and i don't do it 100 percent correct i think he can still use what i do and make the adjustments necessary i mean it would take god to be able to work with seven billion people and all their decisions to ensure ultimately that whatever decisions we do make won't stop his ultimate will being perfect being perfected because ultimately he wants to restore everything you know so he's he's continually at work to bring about that restoration through us and through the angelic realm and through the cloud of witnesses and through anyone else who's willing to to be involved um 
and along the way i think there's all sorts of little course corrections that go so we go off here but he brings us back over there so we can carry on he doesn't say oh well okay carry on and eventually it's like oh, well we'll be so far away that we can't get back you know he's always looking to direct and guide us and help us back to the place where we can fully be embracing that relationship and intimacy that hence you know adam and eve did something wrong he goes to find them he didn't just say oh well that's it then tough you know he he made the initiative to go and find them he took the initiative to engage with noah and abraham and moses and all the people that he has used in some way the initiative is always his and i think he's continually at work in us and around us and through us to help ultimately things become into a state of restoration. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.